Boom shakalaka. Today's video, we're talking about Celsius bankruptcy, CPI numbers, and the Bitcoin bottom. You definitely want to stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we are talking about the Celsius bankruptcy, also the CPI numbers, and the Bitcoin triple bottom. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Come join us over on Twitter at the Crypto Love and push that like button. Now, today in Extreme Fear 18, up from yesterday, about where we were last week. The overall market's up 2.5% today. Bitcoin at $20,000. Ethereum at 1101. BNB at 230. XRP 32 cents. Cardano 42 cents. Solana $34. And Dogecoin 6 sense and if you want any of the top coins today based on artificial intelligence and machine learning they would be polygon gmx quant and uniswap and if you want to check out token measures for yourself there is a one week free trial down in the description and if you go to this research tab right here you can check out their code reviews which is how they picked out matic and also helium back when they were just pennies compared to their all-time highs now the big news today is Celsius Network initiates financial restructuring, restructuring to stabilize business and maximize value for all stakeholders. Files voluntary petitions for Chapter 11 protection. Hashtag unbankrupt yourself. So basically what this says is that Celsius Network today announced that it initiated voluntary Chapter 11 proceedings to provide the company with the opportunity to stabilize its business and consummate a comprehensive restructuring transaction that maximizes value for all stakeholders to implement the restructuring the company and certain of its subsidiaries filed voluntary petitions for reorganizations under chapter 11 of the u.s bankruptcy code in the u.s bankruptcy court for the southern district of new york members of the special committee on the board of directors said today's filing follows the difficult but necessary decisions by celsius last month to pause withdrawals swaps and transfers on its platform to stabilize its business and protect its customers without a pause the acceleration of withdrawals would have allowed certain customers those who were first to act to be paid in full while leaving others behind a way for celsius to harvest value from illiquid or longer term asset deployment activities before they received a recovery this is the right decision for our community and company, says Alex Mashinsky. We have a strong and experienced team in place to lead Celsius through this process. I'm confident that when we look back at history of Celsius, we will see this as a defining moment where acting with resolve and confidence serve the community and strengthen the future of the company. At the moment, Celsius has $167 million of cash on hand, which will provide ample liquidity to support certain operations during the restructuring process. To ensure a smooth transition to Chapter 11, Celsius has filed with the court a series of customary motions to allow the company to continue to operate in the normal course. These first day motions include requests to pay, pay employees and continue their benefits without disruption, for which the company expects to receive court approval. Celsius is not requesting authority to allow customer withdrawals at this time. Customer claims will be addressed through Chapter 11 process. Now, some people plan to see in particular saying that Chapter 11 instead of Chapter 7 is very good news because possibly this might allow investors to actually get their money back but we'll kind of have to see it seems like this decision is again something that was done in the interest of the community and the company but again it's just something where we'll kind of have to wait and see now the other big news today is the cpi numbers the all items in index increased 9.1 percent for the 12 months ending in june this is the largest 12 month increase since the period ending november 1981 for all items, less food and energy index rose 5.9% over the last 12 months. The energy index rose 41.6% over the last year, the largest 12-month increase since the period ending April 1980. The food index increased 10.4% for the 12 months ending in June, the largest 12 months increase since the period ending in February 1981. So you can see this is kind of the worst period that we have had in about 40 years for inflation, with the most recent numbers topping out for the highest one-month change for all urban consumers seasonally adjusted. And we can see that the CPI numbers just continues to increase. Now, how did this affect the markets? Well, not surprising, the market tanked immediately after the news release and over $18 million in Bitcoin long liquidations in 35 minutes after the CPI news. Now, funny enough, the price recovered quite quickly not only Bitcoin, but also SPY and QQQ, all of these recovered almost instantaneously. And Bitcoin price actually went up higher than it was before. Now, what does this teach us? It says don't short and long because you get liquidated and lose all of your Bitcoin as opposed to just holding spot. Now, on to the Bitcoin price. 
you can see Bitcoin could potentially be forming a triple bottom right here. It found support on the bottom of this wedge that we're going in until the breakout the beginning of August. Found support right there, potentially heading back up. Also found support on the $20,000 bottom or previous all-time high but if we take a look at bitcoin over history this is something that i was alluding to yesterday how we all knew we got wicked off back in april basically this is a wick off distribution and it basically gave a bunch of money to large players while a lot of younger less experienced traders just got suckered into losing a bunch of money well if we had a normal blow off top which would have just been a reversal of this wick off distribution that would have topped out roughly about $130,000 per Bitcoin. And if we take from that peak right there in the end of June 2021, guess what? Plotting the 2017 bear market over it brings us to the bottom of this yellow line, roughly around $21,000 at the end of June. Or the 2013 to 2015 bear market would put it about $19,500 by August 1st. Same date we have with the breakout right here, suggesting that we are in perfect bear market capitulation it's over territory not only that but we have these two lines crossing right here the pie cycle bottom signaling today yesterday tomorrow if it hasn't already right now very very close to signaling if it hasn't already so that leaves us with the question what happens with bitcoin price does it go up does it go down does it go sideways well i guarantee it's going to do one of those things but let's try and figure out exactly what's going to happen if we take a look at this delta price from on chain college we can see the delta price is currently at fourteen thousand three hundred thirty three dollars if you look at the previous three bitcoin bear market bottoms you can see the importance of this line in the past it tapped back here in 2019, it tapped back here in 2015, it tapped back here in 2012. He's generous, genuine, genuinely curious. Do you think Bitcoin will reach the Delta price, this bear market? Well, it certainly could. I mean, $14,000, not that far off from where we are right now. Even though there's a lot of evidence suggesting that Bitcoin has already bottomed. And if you want to see that, you can check out yesterday's video or the video the day before. Tons of evidence that we've already reached the bottom. As a matter of fact, if we take a look at this right here, Bitcoin adoption is stronger than ever. Addresses with a non-zero Bitcoin balance during bull market peak hike. Normally, it took about 700 days to return to the level after the 2017 top. Guess what? It only took 211 days, about a third as long, for it to recover after 2021. And we're already well above previous uh, record non-zero address balances. And if you take a look at, coincidentally, where we are in terms of non-zero address balances, this is right before the COVID crash, before Bitcoin price took off. So potentially, we might be somewhere in that neighborhood of the price taking off where to well if we take a look at ta analyst circles homothetic model for the new cycle theory guess what it's just a bunch of circles i mean it's circles all the way down if we take a look looking like we're ending the bear market and the bull market could start to roughly a three hundred thousand dollar bitcoin by around 2024 so that's all for today's episode if you did enjoy make sure to like subscribe click the notification bell i'll catch you guys later have a good one love you